Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like the channel and become part of this journey with us. One big happy family. Thank you so much to every single one of you that have been supporting the channel from the start until now. And of course, very appreciated the newcomers that will be part of it also. I'd like to mention that my uh, threads are 100% cotton thread. They are from Portugal. I am in Europe. And there are four plies, similar thickness to Aunt Lydia number three. My colors go by number and not by name. Okay. And for the most part, I use 2.75 hook, a small one uh, millimeter. Small one to tuck in loose ends, of course, and a pair of scissors. I also like to mention I do have a crochet private group. If you're interested to join the beautiful queens there, you're more than welcome as long as you have a profile pic. And I have a uh, crochet page on Facebook and also Instagram and TikTok. All of these links will be below in the description box. All you have to do is click on them. Of course, if you have not subscribed, click on that subscription. It's free, you know that, and hit the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's the only way we can continue to create these beautiful pieces for you guys by keep growing the channel of course by uh, youtube recognizing the channel and circulating it, circulating it and um, i am so grateful and appreciate it thank you so much everybody um for a lot of views uh, that um question on my threads i do ship them out they're 12 dollars a ball they're 100 grams equivalent 300 to 325 yards okay and minimum order by six it's the only way i can cover the shipping i make nothing out of it so i know you will be asking because i get a lot of questions on them so here you go okay so let's get started please don't forget to share the video or the channel in your facebook public or uh your groups your facebook uh, Facebook crochet groups um, through your WhatsApp, your Instagram. Uh, it's the only way to keep going and circulating it. Okay, thank you. I send you much blessings. Okay, everyone. So we're going to create today a small round doily. Could be a Christmas doily since most probably I'm going to use these colors. But sometimes I change my mind as I go, depending how I feel the pattern. It will be of shells, so uh, it's been around forever, and um, I'm going to try to make a little twist to it since it's an old pattern. Okay, these are four ply, 100% cotton thread, white, the mixed green, red, and of course red. Uh, 2.75 hook, or even this one I change time to time, this 2.7, um, not much of a difference at all. Sometimes I get tired, my fingers get tired of this one, I go to this one, then this one hurts because of the numbers here. Anyway, you know how that goes. And of course a small one to tuck in the scents and a pair of scissors. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so and give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is that magic circle. Bring in your thread in that magic circle. Secure it with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in and do a single two chain. I'm going to have a total of 12 double crochets. Actually, one chain space between them. So single and three chain. Or you can do your normal three chain for double crochet and one for space in between them. So I'm going to have a total of 12 double crochet, one chain space between the double crochets. This is row one. I'm sure that you guys have seen me create many patterns with this space. So uh, by the second, third round, you'll know what I mean for most of you that follow me. I've done my 12 double crochets. I'm going to do my last chain and hook on the second chain that we did from 
the single and two chain. Now I'm going to do, come back in that same stitch, single to chain my first double crochet, my increase two together. <clears throat> and the next round, round three, we'll do the increase on the second double crochet. So a lot of you already know where I'm going with this. So one double crochet, two double crochet in the same stitch. That's our increase, one chain space, all the way around the same way. This is row two. Okay, everyone, so I've done row two, two double crochet on each stitch, so we should have 24. Coming back in, or you can do your three chain as you normally do your double crochet. And on my second one, I'm going to have the increase two in the same stitch. One chain, and again, just repeat the same thing. One, two, double crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to continue to do that until we have 10 double crochets. Always increasing on the last double crochet, especially for beginners or new people that are into the channel. A lot of you that follow me already know the pattern, the base, I should say, not the pattern. So, but the new people in the channel don't know, maybe it's the first time here. So, increase on the last double crochet. You should have 10. That means to row 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of row 10. Okay, everyone, so I'm coming in with my mixed green and red, and I'm going to come in. 1, 2, 3. On my fourth, I'm going to do a double crochet. You can do your double crochet however you start. And I'm going to do three chain, one, two, and three. I'm going to come back in. We're creating those V's, coming in the same stitch, and double crochet. One chain. I'm going to skip one, two. On my third one, creating that V again. And then three chain coming in, double crochet, one chain, one, two, three. I'm going to go on the fourth right in that uh, middle one. One, two, three, into the same one. Okay, and that's how we're going to do. So we only jumped three on the last one here to go into that one chain space. Everywhere else is jump one, two, into the third. Okay? Also, remembering that once you jump, uh, once you do the where the single is, here on the center, one chain, one, two, three, also on the fourth. So on the fourth at the end, and on the fourth at the beginning. One, two, three, and then again. One chain, one, two, three. And three chain. Now you can use red, gold, uh, or green only, and then the shell in red. One, two, three on my fourth. Oh my god, people, there's so much going on with this house, it's unbelievable. Okay, okay, everyone. So I've done all my V's, and now I'm going in with the red. I'm going to do five double crochets for the shell. Three, four, and five. Coming in that one chain space with a single. And again, create your shell of five double crochets. That's all we're going to do to this. Then I'm cutting my thread again, coming in with that mixed green to do the V's on the next row. That's how we're going to be doing these shells. Two, five, single, five, double crochet, 
and then single. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I have 36 shells. That means 36 bees coming in with the multicolored mixed. Uh, or the mixed multicolor into that single, creating those V's again. Differences will be a four chain now. So one, two, three, and four chain. Coming back in, creating the double crochet. So I started with double crochet, four chain, and double crochet. One chain. Coming into the next one, next single. Double crochet, one, two, three, four, and again. Now, you could have done this only on green. You could have done it on red and do gold. So there's so many ways to decorate it, right? Okay, so that's all there is to it. Double crochet on that single for chain. One chain space, and again. So I'll meet you at the end. I'll be coming back in with the red. Or you could do green. Okay, everyone. So finish my Vs again. This time we'll be doing six double crochets. So exactly the same thing as what we've done here. But this time with six, not five. Six double crochets and then your single. So we're just repeating the shell with one double crochet more. Okay. So we have two, four, six coming in that single or that one chain with single. And then repeat your six double crochets again. And then we're cutting our thread and coming in with the next row with the V's again on that single. Okay, everyone. So coming in with my mixed green red into that single. Doing my double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. So five chain and double crochet. One chain coming back in, creating those V's, double crochet. One, two, three, four, five chain. one chain and again doing the V with five chain. I'll meet you at the end. Okay everyone finished my V's. Now this time we're going to be doing seven double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Coming in that center, single, and again, seven double crochets. So if you want to go bigger, then all you have to do is just repeat what we've been doing with these shells. These, and then keep increasing on the chain. So we have five, so if you want to go bigger, six on the next row, and then seven, so on. And also the increase on the shell. Two, four, six, seven. Come in the middle. Single. Okay. So me too once I've completed. Okay, everyone. So pretty much finished doing my doily. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You could also decorate it by putting... You know, a little flower, a little leaf, whatever you want. I have these two butterflies and I'm thinking to put them. So, 
Thank you so much for being here. I have not done the tutorial of the butterflies yet, but I will be doing them. But you can just leave it as is this way, and it's just perfect. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. Until next time, God bless you. I'm just going to give you a quick measurement here. So 33. If you're using Aunt Lydia number 3, you're probably going to get 34. It's a little bit thicker than my thread. Until next time, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.